Go home, Kevin. You're drunk. First of all, if you're drunk, probably go home. Okay. But sometimes you got to use your self-defense. This is a shout out to the drunken kung fu guys. Okay. The art of fighting hard energy with soft energy. Right. There's a couple ways we can train this. I have my partner stand just in a neutral stance. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push one of his shoulders. Okay. I'm going to push this side, and he knows I'm going to push that side. What most people do is I push it and they become stiff and they fight back. The reason why they do that is because your natural reaction is uh, tense up. You're in a car accident, uh, tense up. Who tends to live in drunken uh, vehicle collisions? The drunk guy, unfortunately, because they're soft on impact. So if he takes the idea his eyes are closed and whether they're gonna push this one or this one, and he tries to find his center, and that's why I'm pushing his shoulders, not his center right now, so that he learns to just roll with that impact. That was a little bit better. That was a nice one. So it's like I'm pushing onto him, but it's not moving him. He's rolling off of this, okay? We're using this exact same concept with the kick. I happen to have my right leg forward in the demonstration. Could be my left leg, could be any leg. What I'm trying to do is find the center line. Pretty easy. Here's your center, okay? So as he goes to push me, I take the energy, I fall with it, and I kick. Depending on how hard you go to kick them is going to be dependent on how soft you are. If he pushes me really hard, the kick becomes a little bit faster. I don't want you to try and make the kick happen. I want the kick to be a natural thing. So as he's pushing, I'm falling back. Notice the push was softer. My kick did not increase in speed. So we're trying to find that kind of balance of how to do this. Tyson's able to take like 15 or 20 dick kicks today. So pad yourself up at home like Tyson did, or else it's gonna hurt a little bit, okay? It's hard to train this by yourself. But there's a trick that I'm doing to help keep me in the fight if I need to continue to fight. If he pushes me, go ahead, I'm curling my toes, and see how that kind of hooked? What happened was I would normally just fall back there or I would slide off. But if I curl my toes up, this gives me a chance of being able to hook onto him. So if he pushes quite hard, boom, I'm hooking, now I can stay in the fight if I need be. Stay safe.